Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Idini Hastu Sabapa. Currently here doing readings uh, on currently on the sign of Leo. So let's get into your energy, divine forces of unconditional love, light, peace, wealth, health, prosperity, and everything good, lovely, wonderful, positive. What does the sign of Leo need to know for their highest good at this time? Please bring clear and accurate messages. Family, please know that these readings are general and they may not apply to ev for everyone, right? So take what applies and let the rest fly, right? Right. All right. Looks as though something is being uncovered, perhaps has you in this, um, in the nine of swords energy, but know that you are being given the strength to overcome whatever it is, whatever this truth is that's being um, revealed. You have the strength to overcome it. Don't allow your ego to uh, run rapid. All right, so let's get into your energy, energy. Let's get into your cards. Oh, okay. Leo, we have the page of air, ten of swords, exactly. Some, some information coming in that leaves you in this ten of swords energy. Right? Um, heavy mental turmoil, despair. But remember, um, this is like the ending of it, you know. Um, maybe, and this could be also the, uh, the message that your the the uh, mental turmoil. If you're already going through a lot of mental turmoil, message that it's coming to an end. Let's see what uh, your other cards have to say. about this healing exactly it's coming to an end the mental turmoil uh, that you've been going through is freeing you in some way shape form or fashion and allowing you to step into the energy of healing and bring, bringing you a new beginning a new beginning in uh, clarity like as we have the king of uh, air on the bottom of the deck which is you know um the king of earth air rules you can kind of consider them like the ice king or you know or ice queen um and so they they are able to you know their kingdom still thrive in some of the harshest conditions and you've been in harsh conditions but you've been thriving still you know or you're getting you're being you're coming to the energy of being able to release that heal and to thrive it's preparing you and building up your stamina to where you are the king of air and you can overcome any drama or deception that may come your way because we do have the seven of earth here and you may know you know high priestess is your highest self maybe you're not trusting your intuition and that's the reason why you have been experiencing or have experienced this ten of swords energy yeah let's see what else but you're healing right four of swords healing because you're able to see things from a different perspective hangman and you're receiving enlightenment Let me maybe adjust that. And that enlightenment is allowing you to be able to ascend. You know, it brings you to a crossroads where, where you have to make a decision. Are you going to stay stuck or are you going to ascend to the next level? And you're ascending because you're you are you've already been at the crossroads with the hangman and you are yes moving on and ascending spiritually justice card you're you're going to receive justice to perhaps this de deception energy and this justice is going to allow you to be in to to balance out your um energies balance out work and play balance out you know the 3d and the 5d 
and be more wise with how you handle it you know and choosing which to indulge in and which not to at any time at any point justice and perhaps that you know you're healing your inner child this is a uh, providing you with a new beginning page of the pages offered new beginnings messages of passion so this this could be reigniting your passion for life again you know maybe at one point you were stuck but no more nine of air eight of air so like I said it's reducing right but it's reducing indefinitely right because we have this new beginning in the two of fire you are ascending you're no longer being stuck in this nine of air eight of earth air um anxiety written energy you have eight nine and ten of air here and the page you know three pages out here so it's a lot of energy in regards to perhaps to your children maybe your children are giving you the blues or maybe you know this could just be immature energy on your end but there's earth energy here there's virgo taurus capricorn there's fire energy here aries leo sagittarius uh and air energy here air um Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. But again, you're getting the insight that you're being freed. You are, you know, freeing yourself from this. There's messages coming in to help free you from this 10 of air, nine of air, eight of air energy. Four of uh, fire. So this can represent a celebration. The message is coming in is that there's gonna be stability. Stability is coming. Celebrating uh, where in the home front, within your family, perhaps within you know your the, the dynamic between you and your and your children. McClarity on the four of air is healing. Queen of uh, water, that's that nurturing energy. King of Air decided to come back out again. Hierophant. This is spiritual guidance. This is thinking logically. You know, overcome. This is mastering that uh, the air, mastering your mind, mastering your mental, not allowing your thoughts to get the best of you. Right. healing your heart and your ability to receive guidance you know because you've been in this t heavy tent of air energy and you hadn't really been able to receive those messages that you need to help ground you but you are again freeing yourself from that which is opening up your intuition, opening up your ability to communicate with spirit and to heal yourself, to master, to overcome this mental turmoil and to choose and to bring about for yourself, to manifest for yourself a new beginning. Again, manifest that enthusiastic um, awe and wonder energy of life, you know, overcoming depression setting up healthy boundaries perhaps with your children king of earth and becoming stable again because before you weren't stable look at all this mastery energy king of air king of earth energy becoming stable again no longer lying to yourself anymore
accepting things for what they are and moving on. You know, if there's turmoil amongst the family members and, and children, you're no longer making that your problem or, or guilting yourself because of how other people are reacting. No, with the world card, you're ending that. You're learning, you've learned your lesson and you're moving forward, three of wands. You actively, you're, you're, your ships are coming in and you're actively planning now how you want your future to, to look. You're no longer allowing your kids or you know, family drama to dictate your happiness. You're not carrying that burden anymore. You're not getting involved in that anymore. You're seeing things from a different perspective. Let me clarity on the hangman. And with you seeing things from a different perspective opens you up to wish fulfillment, right? Again, you being able to see a life from that uh, the innocence of a child to to have that zeal for life again to to want to explore and to be adventurous eight of cups walking away walking away and finding your ten of cups walking away to your ten of cups give me more on the hangman Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Sun card. This is your card, right? Leo being, and, and that allows you to walk into your full power. Exactly. Your full power, your full energy to love. You love everyone for where they are. You accept everyone for where they are, but you continue to live your life and not carry their burdens descending right to a fire. Ascending to the next level, no longer being stagnant. Strength card, here you go, coming out again. Overcoming ego. Give me more clarity on this two of fire. The will of fortune. Walking towards your destiny and the things that make you happy. Ascending, making the choice to ascend brings you justice in regards to the drama that goes around on around you, the toxicity, perhaps even codependency. You're freeing yourself from that codependency, from the codependency. And you're achieving balance in your life. Balancing out, you know, family and personal. Okay, overcoming the heartbreak that you felt in the past. And moving forward with the messenger of fire towards things that you're passionate about. Regaining your confidence over this nine of swords anxiety and eight of swords uh, stagnant trapped energy. You're regaining your confidence and you're overcoming this anxiety, stagnant energy. Give me clarity on the nine of air, eight of air. Five of, of uh, pentacles, five of earth. Abandoning this negative energy. Hermit card on the bottom. And focusing on self-love. You're receiving enlightenment by just focusing on yourself could be a Virgo that's bringing about, you know, some emotional, uh, some mental turmoil that you're going to have to walk away from and just accept them for who they are and where they are in life and allow them to, to deal and fend for themselves. Three of cups, walking away from this mental turmoil brings you harmony. Look at that, moving forward, willpower and determination, chariot card. Could be cancer energy as well. So let's get some um, oracle cards out here. See if we can get more clarity or some more messages for you. It's 
been difficult to shuffle these cards for every other reading, but it's coming much easier for you guys. Look, you see how easy that is? I've been having a hard time shuffling these cards. One more and we'll get, we'll get to shuffling, pulling out and seeing what cards come out for you. And maybe it's, it's been tough to shuffle those other cards in the other readings because it felt like they were in more of a war energy. You're giving up the fight. You're not, you're not, you're like, no, nah, like that. I ain't, I ain't doing this no more. Look at that. Which card? Justice is coming. 27. They say that whatever we do comes back to us the same times three. If a person's intentions are well-meaning, then that good energy will come back to them in buckets. And that's, that's for you too. You've been meaning well. You've been trying your best to help these people out and to bring justice into the family or to this dynamic, but it just hadn't been happening. And you're, you're giving up the fight, but know that all of that good work that you've done is coming back um, and will rain down good energy onto you. If a person's intentions are to do harm, then then you get the picture here. Either way, the universe is getting ready to deliver its justice. This person might be you. If so, you should handle it with grace and learn from your mistakes. Otherwise, this most likely applies to someone who caused harm to you or your loved ones. God of Reflections. It says the qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. So that goes for that you know the energy here it says you know if if you are receiving if the justice is coming for you handle it with grace and learn from your mistakes right take accountability goddess of the shadows what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden tre treasure you're facing your shadow side with all of this ten of air eight of air eight you know nine of air ten of air goddess of oneness Someone you love is thinking of you fondly. And this could be, you know, perhaps your uh, ancestors. Bottom of the deck it does have the shark swim away from this situation. So again, I was talking about, you know, there might be turmoil within the family, but walk away from it. Allow things to just unfold the way they're supposed to unfold. Obviously, you know, this could be grown people acting immaturely. And it's not your problem. Walk away. Focus on you. You've earned all your stripes, lioness, right? Sun, sun card, Leo, the lion. You've earned your stripes. You've, you've put in enough work. It's time for you to let it go and let these people handle the things on their own. An idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. So you're gonna have new ideas and new ventures, page of earth, to embark on, angel of relaxation. And that new idea could be just relaxing. Let go of desired outcomes, exactly. Walk away from the drama and you will get what you want, exactly what the reading has been about. Angel of prayer, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. Angel of clearing, exactly. Your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. It comes with you just releasing, you know, release the drama. As I've been saying throughout your whole reading, you know, you have people around you acting immaturely, no longer allow their problems to be yours. We have stars. You can manifest your every wish. Exactly. Start focusing on yourself. Princess, you can be your own knight and bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. And you can stand up for yourself by sitting, sitting out that fight, you know, and just focusing on you and what you want. Bottom of the deck, angel of finances, honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive with walking it when you, as you walk away with willpower and determination. Perhaps from a, a Virgo, because we do have this queen this hermit card beneath here and then the queen of fire which is taking matters into your own hands regaining your confidence you know accepting your accountability but also forcing other pe people to accept accountability as well 
all right that's what i have for you leo i hope they helped in some way shape form or fashion i love you all and until next time peace